Hi guys, so in this video, I will show you how to use PowerPoint on your iOS devices. Well, you might already know that PowerPoint is the program or the application that we use in order to create the slide. And this slide, we use it for doing our presentation at school and at work. And to some of you who, you know, doesn't like bringing along with your PC, Right now, you can also create slides as many as you want from your smart devices. Okay, so now let's get started. So first, you need to go to uh, App Store. So just search for PowerPoint. Yep. Here it is. It is free, everyone. It is free. So download the PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. I, I have already downloaded, so I can launch after you launch the application, first of all, I recommend you to create one account, which is from Microsoft account, and it is free, everyone. So you need to go to uh, Safari, and then live.com, and then create one. So you need to sign up one email address. And your email address, at the end of your email address, it will look like at outlook.com or at hotmail.com. So just uh, fill in the information about yourself, okay? And then create account. After you create the account, you will be able to sign in in your uh, PowerPoint app. So after you sign in, you will see the username like mine on the top here. Because you need the account in order to go to the second section, which is create new slide. Without having the account, you cannot go to new section. So again, you need to create one account first. It is free and it takes around two to three minutes only. After you have the account, now you can select any template of the slide you prefer. So yeah, any style that you like. So I might choose this one. And okay, so when you choose that slide, you will see the section like this. So this is slide number one. So you can double tap in order to write. So well, and then you can tap on this one one time and then you will see this. And then you can drag and drop it. You can drag like this, or you can move it up. And this one, yeah, double, double tap, and then present it. I would. And again, I can move it to wherever I like. Okay, so my first slide is finished. So let's move on to the second slide. How to add another slide? So it's pretty easy, everyone. Just click on the plus button here. You will see the second slide. One more. Slide number two, slide number three, slide number one. Slide number two, slide number three. So if you want to change the template, I mean the style of your uh, slide, because slide number two and number three, they look the same, and I don't want them to be the same. So I click on slide number three. And then I click on the first function here, layout. So I can choose the layout that I want. When, uh, this is the current layout. And then I want to change this layout to this one or that one. See that? It is different now. And then let's create another one, the fourth one. Okay. And click on layout, and name card style or whatever. The fifth one. And click on the layout. And I want that one to be the same as, similar, not the same as the first one, right? So title slide and I want section header. Okay, so I can type. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Now I have five slides. Okay, so that's it about uh, adding the slide, everyone. Now let's move on to another uh, functions in this.
Okay, so as you can see, the second function here is the table. So how many table that you want? It depends on you. You can add, you can delete. So this one is add. Okay, one more. See that? If you want to delete the row, you need to select only one row, I think. Yes, something like that. Okay, delete. Yeah. Sorry, delete. Okay, okay. Yeah. And also, you wanna you wanna change the color, the style. Yeah, we can change it here. Okay, it's look nice now. Add one more. Yeah. Okay. And also, again, I wanna change the the color, the style that I prefer. Okay. I have different choices. Okay, this is the function of the column. Let's move on to slide number three. And the third function is the picture. You can add the pictures that you want. Okay, so let's go to the bus. Here. I want to give another photo here. Okay. And that time I can tell the audience what this photo is about. You can also put on this one, the style of your photo, the, the frame, and you can have this the shadow, you can have this this style, you can have that style, okay. This one I can delete it if delete it. And I can even crop that photo. For example, I want to crop here. This is the function of the crop. You can crop it. Done. Then I can enlarge the image. Here it is. Done. Okay, now let's move on to the next function, which is the shape. So you can draw the shape, put the shape. Any shape that you like, okay, something like that. And then you can even write on that shape. Just click on the shape and then the text, okay. You can also have this bold, italics, and the line. You can also change the color of the, the word here. Okay, now let's move on to the next function. You know already, this is the, the box, text box. I don't have to tell you because I think you see it every time you use uh, Microsoft Word, right? This is the camera. You can have, you can take a picture right away if you don't have any image on your photo, on, the, on your device, photos. Okay, so now let's move on to the next section, which is about changing the font style and increase or decrease the font size. So at this point, you can click on letter A with the pencil picture up there, here, or you can click on the three dots down below here. We have the same functions. So this is home. Okay, this is home. So now let me select the text and I change the font. Home. I increase the font size and I can change the font style. So I need to decrease the font size. Increase it. Okay, something like that. And this is the font color. Yeah. So I can change the font color. It's yellow, green, purple. So, okay, yellow. Okay, so that's all everyone about the font. Now let's move on to insert. So with the insert, it is quite similar to what I have uh, shown you from the beginning. You can insert with the table, photos, camera, shapes, and text box. And last but not least is the video. You want to play the video on your presentation slide. You can even add a video. You use your smartphone to record a video and then you can add it immediately into your slides. And then draw. Okay, so you can draw, you can highlight any uh, point that you want to design. 
So theme, okay, so for example, if you have already chosen the, this theme like what I did from the beginning, and then it turned out that you don't like it. So you can change later on, okay? You can change to this style, get yeah, applying theme. Okay, this one, love this. Okay, so move on to the next one is the slide size. So the slide size is the when you show your presentation slide to the projector. So what type of projector you are using? So it depends, okay, on your projectors. So there are two choices for you to choose. This one is the standard one, or the previous one is the wide screen. Okay, that's wide. So it depends on what projector that you are using in your workplace or at school. Okay, so again, you can adjust it later, don't worry. Format background, you can change the background if you want to. Okay, something like that. It's amazing, right? And in addition to design, now let's come to transitions. So transitions and animations, they are different. Transitions refer to the animation of each slide from one slide to another slide. So let's try. So transitions effect works. So transition effect. Yeah, here. So how it works. Okay, so I have transition slide number one. I can play it. Okay, as you can see, this is the transitions. Now let's add another transitions in slide number two. Okay, go back to transitions, transitions effect. So now let's play the slide to test what it looks like. And this button is the button for preview the slide or play the slide. Yeah, here and yeah, see this is the second slide. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. And this is the last one. Okay. It looks great, right? Okay, so this is the transitions. So what is animations? So animations is uh, the way you add effect to the words, the pictures in each slide. So let me try to add the animation to the word welcome to my presentation. So if you want to add animations, just click on welcome to my presentation and go to animations. Entrance effects, fly in and with fly in, you can even select effect options. You want to fly from the bottom, from the bottom left, from the left, from the top, okay, from the right, whatever you want. So now I want to from the top. Okay, let's see. Play. This is transitions and this is animations. It's amazing, right? And the same thing to this, I can even the animations to my pictures okay animations to the pictures effect and rise up let's play okay so this is the animation on, on my slideshows you have different choices for example you go to slideshow from the current and from start which means from the beginning slide one of, of five so Welcome to my presentation. This is transitions. Look nice, right? It's amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you for your attention. Something like that. And while you are doing your presentation, you can also use the pen here to, for example, what does this mean? The attention. You draw your audience attention to what you want them to focus on then you can draw whatever you want to you can even change or you use the highlighter you can change the color okay to highlight okay something like that okay then it's time to to save 
Okay, so when you want to save, you click on this. Achievements. Just put the name of your presentation. Uh, yeah, presentation one one. So I save it here. Yeah, it's been saved. Okay, that's it, everyone. So now let's go and check in my uh, uh, documents folder. So go to open sections. Go to iPhone, and then you will see presentation one one one. Okay, everyone, so that comes to la the last point that I want to show you is to uh, send out this slide to your friend or your Gmail or other, let's say, to your teacher. Okay, then you click on plus here, and then send a copy. And then you want to send with Outlook or you can send with another app. So now you can choose like Gmail account, like Gmail, you send to Gmail, my mail address and to somebody else, whatever, okay, you want to. Or you can even upload this slide presentation to your Google Drive. So again, click send with another app and then go to Drive. And then select my drive and then select the folder that you want to, to save, right? To and save it here and then the presentation will be there for you okay so that's it everyone if you have any questions just let me know with the comment down below and thank you very much for watching please do not forget to subscribe for more useful videos thank you